Hello and welcome to In Affinity. This is a photograph I took recently at a Sony event. Uh, I use Sony Alpha cameras and um, whenever I see a stack of lenses like this, oh, I, I dribble a bit, I must admit. But anyway, I thought I'd take a photograph here. There's a sale going on in the background, but kind of like the boxes. So the focus point is back here on the people. This just blurs in. And uh, so looking at this thought, what what is there about this? How can I edit this? Well, I've got a bit up here, the red bits, because I've got these things turned on up here, which says this is overexposed. I can bring that back with the basic tab. We're in the develop persona here. Just going to go down to the shadows and highlights and bring up the highlights until we lose that. There we go. So that's pulled off that little point that was up there. But what about it as a picture? It's sort of, this is tilted, isn't it? You can see there's a tilt here. So I look at the other side immediately. There's a tilt there as well. So the camera was a bit rotated. So let's go around to the lens one here. See if I can rotate it back again. So how does that look? What I can do with this is do view and studio. And uh, have I got the thing here? No, I don't know. Where is that? Grids and Axis Manager. Show Grid. There it is. So I'm just going to look for verticals here. So maybe I can line it up along the line of the boxes here. In fact, actually, that's pretty close to it, isn't it? So I've got any other distortion. What's the line following there? That needs just to keep it vertical maybe I'll just turn it a little bit this way it's very tiny tiny amounts this is the first thing I usually do is to look for this kind of thing and there's going to be a little bit of vertical here because I'm pointing it slightly upwards I think that is about it okay so it was view grid and access manager turn the grid off close there we go we can see that what else is there probably color balance there's a white balance tool here color balance I mean white balance let's find something white this chap over here what's that like or maybe the lights I just look at these things and try a few things to see whether where it looks Better. I think that actually look better. Take that as a white wall. It's a better reference. I prefer what that looks like. Okay, and then go to develop from this. I'm not going to bother cropping until I get to the other end. Now then, here we go. What else is there about the picture? Actually, there's an awful lot of picture up here, isn't there? I kind of like the lenses, but this is where the interesting thing's going on. So let's go for crop and I'm going to pull this into the edge here. Maybe just take it straight to that pillar. I like that for the creators sign. This guy here on the edge here, he's just a distraction. So I'm going to pull in there. Right, so this guy is clipped out. It's not going to clip his fingers. And we'll bring it down a bit. We don't need that ceiling. So this four creators appears here. And do we need all these boxes? Maybe we don't. Maybe we'll go up here. Now we're starting to go to square crop. So what's this? 2676 there by... Which one's that? Yes, yeah, that one. What do I do? 2676 there. 2676. Yeah, that'll work. So I've now got a nice square crop. So I'll apply that. Now we're getting more interesting. Now we've got a bit of a story happening in here. I'm going to put a bit of a... Um, no, actually, this, this isn't quite vertical here. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Is that vertical there? So maybe that rotation wasn't quite right. I'm going to go to the grid anyway. Go to the perspective tool here. This has gone right out here, so I'm just going to 
pull this over a little bit just to make that a bit more vertical get close to the edge. I turn the grid off here because that can confuse the eye a bit. And I think that could be okay. Maybe take this one across a little bit just to make that just a bit more vertical there so the whole thing's vertical. Yeah, it's actually applying a little bit of shear. And apply that. Control zero to see the whole picture. Now I'm gonna go in here, look at how much noise have I got in here. I've got a bit of noise, maybe I'll do a denoise. Best to do that before any sharpening. So I'll go to live filters and denoise and turn this up a bit. Just a little bit, so I'm yeah, just a teeny bit. That'll do. And I'll just go back to that. I'm going to add a little bit of sharpening. So I'll put a high pass on. And often round about under one, monochrome and linear light. I'm getting a little bit of banding in, in here, but I actually don't mind too much because it's not going to see that much. Then I'm going to go to the high pass, hit Control J to do that again. So I'm going to do a double one here, and the first, and the next one is down to 0 0.1. It just puts an edge on things. Yes, I get a little bit more of that. Maybe I'll put a micro blur on that just to take the edge off that. So live filters and a Gaussian blur, and a 0 0.1 here, preserve alpha, just to clean that edge up a little bit there. Maybe not point 0.2. I think that's still better than the original. Got a clean edge around here. Control zero. Yeah, that looks fairly sharp in there. What I'm going to do as well is this this white patch up here is bugging me. So let's go up to that. And I'm going to Get the select brush, make sure snap to edges is fit is selected, click in here. Oh, I should be selecting that, I should be just gonna go to the edge. Yeah, there we go. Just needs a bit of encouragement. There we go. I'm actually gonna take snap to edges off a bit and do it a little bit past this here to make sure it goes across there. Because I'm gonna do a bit of cloning across there. Can hit refine so it's it does the little bit of smoothing around here and that's that's enough it's automatically done enough there now we're going to do just a clone into this where's that the clone brush and that's apparently 50 let's turn that up to 100 and go from back here i'm going to try that i'll click from there and put it slightly upwards so make sure it covers the edge and I go down here and to the edge of that there. Control D to get that off here and I can clean up that. And just put a bit into here and turn the opacity down quite a bit and then sort of smudge that across there. That'll do. And there's a little bit in there that's not quite right so I'll just clone that in here. I'm doing this fairly quickly now. Control zero. There you go, that's enough. It's not gonna you're not gonna notice that I don't think. Um and also let's put a vignette on. So I'm gonna bring up View Studio uh, library and Dave's vignettes which I've produced before I'll put the link in down below and vignettes rounded there and I've got a layer on this so I'm just going to go to the move tool stretch that across stretch this down to here and what's that look like just not bad by itself I don't think that needs much more it just puts more in here to emphasize that I'm going to put a, a, a curves on that and just brighten up 
flat area there in there so the vignette just holds it in a little bit and how's the opacity on that actually I take that down a little bit just just a little just a little so it is hardly noticeable it's the best vignettes the ones you don't notice and control zero and I think that's about it that looks okay to me just telling a story here about this and yeah I could play around with it further but I think that is enough for a first pass anyway there we go full edit of one little picture thank you very much for watching